Hi, welcome to another Geordie Giant bitch. Uh, I'm sorry it's a bit bright in here. It's a lovely sunny day. I've had the windows open. I'd be absolutely blinded. Um, I'm just going to show you quickly a couple of bits and bobs I've got going on. Um, I'm going to be planting out this week. Um, everything's ready now for it to go out. My leeks are starting to get a bit pot bound and so are my onions. So they're going to be going into the bigger pots, the onions, and the leeks are going to be going into the trench. I've also got some other uh, onions which is going to be going into a little trench as well. I'll just show you. I'll just show you. Um, my leeks, I've got the button. I don't know if you can see right down there. I've got a couple of the flags split at the bottom. But these are ready now. I don't know if you. There's a couple of roots coming out the bottom there. These are ready now. I've got a good root structure on the bottom of them. Um, I believe there's going to be a big frost, a bit frost on the weekend. Uh, look nice there. It's going to be a big frost on the weekend. So I'm not sure if I'm going to wait until after the weekend to plant my leeks out. But I've got onions. I need to get out now. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you um, some of my onions, see what the roots are like on the bottom of these. I know I've got them sitting in the pots and some of the, the roots are really sticking out the bottom. I'll have a quick look, see what the... Aye. You can see the root structure on them. Plenty of roots, nice white roots. So I will be planting these out into the final big pot within the next day or so and all the rest will be going out but uh, pumpkins coming on well they're just little pumpkins there um, I've got the marrow the giant marrow that's uh, that's cracking on now it's getting some some of its first leaves on Greenhouse is still chocker block, as you can see, it's still chocker. So I've really got to start getting some stuff out now. Um, this is some one of the giant cabbages, looking a bit leggy. It's been leaning over towards the light, um, but it's putting on some leaves. Good, good foliage on it there, nice and green. So that will be getting put into its big pot soon. Yeah, um, it's all go again. I'll show you, I've got a couple of big onions off a friend, um, there, I'll show you them, they're cracking on nicely, these two big onions here, sticking up new flute egg every seven days sort of thing, so they're cracking on, these are the, the sunflowers down here, these two, um, they're looking really good. Um, I'll show you the, the carrots over on the corner there. They're liking it now. They're out the little shed from the false light into here where it's a, it's a little bit cooler and a little bit more natural light. These are all the onions um, which are going out today. And I'll show you um, in a second me planting them out in the, uh, the trenches in the allotment. Hello there, just down at the allotment. Um, I'm just about to show you about, have a look at my leeks and my onions, what I've got planted up. Um, it's been pretty cold lately, so the last couple of nights I know it's been dropping at like zero, maybe it's even one or two below. So I, I might have put my leeks out a bit early, but um, we'll see. They seem alright like, so I kind of complain. I'll just show you about them now. In uh, this, In this trench I'll show you. In this trench here, um, I've got nine Peter Glazebrook onions, as you can probably see, with the supports on there. They're just um, spare ones I had, and then some reject leeks I've got in there. I've got another little outside bed here, uh, with no sides on, just the top, um, and they've got. Um, nine Dave Metcalf onions in 
they're all uh, labelled up there. They've got the little supports on. They're a bit small, but they should catch up. So I've got those there. Come on, another bed. I've got another half a dozen leaks in this bed here. Let's have a look at them there. Um, I've got another bed here with another two or oh, eight leaks in. Like, like I say, the seawater right. I've uh, got some dead flags on the bottom, but they were already dropping off when I was uh, putting them in. As long as they're still a bit green, the flags, you tend to leave them on because they're still giving energy to the plant. When they turn almost completely yellow, that's when you want to start uh, removing the flags. Because they're, they're no longer helping. Yep, so are them ones. There. And then I've got my final bed here. I've got another six in here. Um, some nice leaks, actually. I don't know if you can... See them properly. Like these ones I said before, they get thrip, a lot of thrip and disease. Um, but it will, it will shift in them when they get older. I've got an anti-insecticide uh, put in. They're happy, obviously, in the beds, as you can see. They've just been put in, and they've all got their tops are twisting. They're all over the moon. So hopefully, um, we'll get some nice. Leaks this year, because if you watch my first videos, you'll uh, you'll see that I screwed up big time on my first year doing my leaks. Um, I'll just show you. I've got some um, some rejects out there, which I'm just gonna grow for eating. Um, over this side, my onions, my um, my white onions. And I've got red onions in at the back of my shallots. I'll show you them shallots because they're coming on well. Big Mr. Bumblebee floating about there. Nice to see. But yeah, my shallots now, as you can see, they're starting to split into this one, split into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That one's split into seven. This one's split into. Uh, one, two, three. So you've got to keep an eye on them. Garlic. 100% germination of me garlic. They're uh, looking a bit sorry for themselves, actually, the garlic, because it's been a bit cold and they've been getting a bit hammered here. Um, cabbages. Slugs have had a go at them. But, you know, I put them out far too early, to be honest. So... I'm not fussed whatever happens there. I shouldn't have uh, put them out. But we might get a few cabbages. Um, in the middle was some kale. And the kale seems to have been hammered by slugs and stuff as well. I've got another two beds there. Which is going to um, house some dahlias. I'm going to be growing some dahlias this year. I don't know if I'm going to grow them for show sure this year. We'll see what happens. But yeah I'm going to uh, be putting some dahlias in to get some nice flowers. Um, I did have some beetroot planted out, but I think I'm, again, too early. I am impatient. I didn't, uh, should have held my horses. Never cast a clout or maize out. That's what my dad says. But I had to get my leeks in. Uh, my leeks were pot bound, you know, in the, in the greenhouse as you were well aware as you've just seen so i had to get them in the beds they seem happy i'm going to give them a bit of feed there now and a bit of super juices i call it nice bit of nutrient feed they should get plenty off the um the soil they're in but in the early days i give them a little bit of a high nitrogen feed for to help them help bring them on sort of thing um in the bottom of the in the bottom of the roots, when the hole what you plant out in, I've sprinkled it with a mycorrhizal fungi, which helps. It's a bio stimulant. It helps the uh, roots connect better. Gives it a better root structure. And um, with the leaks, which I didn't have last year, I didn't um, didn't try that last year. And also, I've 
make some charge um, in with the bottom of my leaks for to give it a bit of a, a boost so because um, that charge is just awesome stuff I can't I can't speak highly about it more high about it um, it's proven everything I've seen about it just seems to click you know it just seems to be a really good nutrient um, additive so yeah um, or if you're looking to buy charge you can get it from exhibitiongarden.com that seems to be the cheapest about it's where I get it from anyway um, they, they sell quite a bit on there I know they're getting more stuff in like but yeah have a look have a look and buy some stuff they've got some stuff on eBay as well um, thanks for watching I'll have another update within a week or so and uh, congratulations to the people who won the competition I posted your, uh, your prizes out yesterday morning uh, recorded delivery so you'll have to sign for them because in one of them there's a 50 quid note so and I don't know which one it's in so I sent all three recorded um, yeah thanks for watching subscribe if you like to see uh, if you like what you're seeing tell other people um, hit the like button and all that jazz I'll speak to you later thanks for watching bye